What's up everybody? It's Maddie the Nerf Guy here. I'm broadcasting to you live from the new and improved Matty Layer. Now I'm not showing you what the Matty Layer is looking like yet as it's still somewhat not finished. I'm working on my mod shop eh, pretty much so once the mod shop is finished I will let you I'll give you guys a tour my in, in a future video. Right now you're probably wondering what am I looking at here? Why are there so many pistols? Why only one primary? And why does it look like pistols everywhere? Well, you're about to find out, because this is my light, heavy support loadout. And starting off with my primary, this is a Elite XD Stock Retaliator. No, it is stock. I don't really see... It. This is mainly for, NH, for HVZ. I chose this over a... I chose the Retaliator over a Strife or any flywheel, because, well... Conserving ammunition is essential for this loadout, and it's a 25 dot drum, as I won't be needing that that much ammunition, except for maybe this 25 round drum, and a couple 12s as backup. And also my secondary right here will be the modulus uh, tri-strike barrel, the mega barrel, where I can just use, which I'll be keeping plenty of those on me. Now this is all stock. And this is just to my primary. My secondary, again, is this, the Tristrike Barrel. And this right here, guys, on to a bunch of pistols here. Before I go over what this is, you're probably wondering, why so many pistols? Why five pistols? Well, notice, these are not to be used by me. The light heavy loadout is... I did the Retaliator because, well, it's the lightest nerf blaster that I have that can use a 25-dot drum, the biggest magazine that I own, without being too bulky and heavy. Well, these pistols are not for me. So going over them, I have these two, uh, these came, these two pistols right here are, I call them Tech 3 knockoffs. They're much better Tech 3 knockoffs. You have to do similar to what the Tech 3 is, you have to manually rotate the turret and pull back and then shoot. They shoot really well. The Tech 3s, you could barely even get those out of one barrel. You'd be lucky if the Buzzy Dodds even came out. Over here is a Doomlands Persuader uh, 2169 blaster. And over here are two Rebel 4 Vicks. Or uh, two Rebel 4 Victories. These are all stock as well. The reason being for so many pistols is as the support man for my team, I need to be as light and unimpeding by my team as possible, especially, I mean, by my gear as possible, especially if I'm in HVZ or just a regular game like King of the Hill or something. I need to be able to capture objectives or support my team, so these are what basically what will happen is if a player needs another blaster, they can come and pull one of these either from behind me or either of my sides, provided they give them back, because these are, again, these are loner blasters. Um, also for a person who just needs something quick to blast with if they run out of ammunition. This is probably the best way I know to run my four, my five favorite pistols here. Now over the gear. Now this is what it will look like being ran. The I have two uh, these holsters or holsters as you would say. This is a paintball belt. These are pod carriers. I have four of them here, so I can use them to carry four 18 mags. Um, I can fit... If I wanted to, I could actually use this to run four 18 mags and three 12s in this, but I choose to run blasters with it. And it's just a, uh, a Breast Eagle paintball belt that is very comfortable, very lightweight. Now on to the rest of the gear. The rest of my gear consists of a sharp fire and a zombie strike. Double Strike. I mean, not Double Strike, Flip Fury. I got those because those, well, those fit in here, and this thing right here is just another thing to fit darts, magazines, whatever I choose to carry. I might put some extra blasters in there, along with this, um, belt here. I got all this for about 40 bucks at Home Depot. It was a Framers Tool Belt. It was actually on sale. They normally sell for about, I think, 45, 50 bucks after tax, and it was on sale, I think, for about 40, so it was pretty cool. Um, got quite a deal there. I, originally I was supposed to get this for, uh, HVZ End War 2K17, but sadly didn't get to go. But, um, on the boy's side, at least I got some stuff to tinker around with for a loadout. 
Then right here is my Gorilla Tactical, made by John Riffle himself, pouch full of, uh, full of ex the new, uh, green, the new green, uh, Zero X Shot darts. These are, the older ones that were yellow and had a black tip are very light, mm. so you got sort of a bigger FPS reading, but these ones are, the foam is very rigid. And I popped these into a lot of my Elite Blasters, and for some reason, at least for me, I'm going to be running a ton more of these, and what's cool is that in a pack, this came in a thing called the Afflictor pack, which, um, let me pull this out here real quick. Which the ones I showed you earlier, these two came in with. It came with a thing called the Afflictor, the Afflictor, which is basically just a reshell a, basically a reshell of the, uh, Vigilante Shotgun by Zuru X-Shot. And it came with those three blasters plus 97 darts. And they come in packs of 100, which are literally only, I think, $10 at Walmart. And that's pretty cool. And being the fact that I work at Walmart, I get a discount on them. So probably it takes them down to about maybe, I get a 10% discount, so it'd be about a buck... Five, I think so. I'm looking at about like a nine ninety five after tax. I think for the uh, for these. So yeah, um, I highly recommend these knockoff darts. They are extremely cheap, extremely good. Um, again, this this whole loadout is just to support my team. Again, I chose this here, my retaliator, because well, this is the lightest blaster that I own. I'm probably going to be getting some light take stuff to add on to it. I'm going to be modding this up. Maybe, how would I say, um, get the, also might be getting the light take prophecy and modding it up as my new retaliator primary. And maybe put this in that there as a second, as a main, as a second primary. And put a hammer shot in it as well. Um, not a hammer shot in it, but a hammer shot in that. I don't know what I'm going to do with this thing yet. This thing is unmodded, but it's not going to be staying that way for long. Again, the point of this loadout is to support your team while being light and efficient. Yes, more pistols, but I need to be as unimpeded and able to run fast and light as possible without all these janky magazines, drums, and darts. That is why I'll only be carrying maybe a maximum of 50 to 100 darts and at least 5 to 7 blasters at least. I'll have at least, let's see those. The Doom Last Persuader, that's five. I'll have eight blasters on me all together, so that should be enough to reasonably get another. I mean, that should be reasonably enough to support at least a team of four, at least. So, also, I kind of decided to create a new loadout based off the pistol guy and the heavy support guy. So, yeah, why the heck not? Also, as the name suggests, Misfit Nerf. I'm a misfit, I don't do what other people say. This is Matty the Nerf Guy, signing off for MTNG. See you guys next time.